When it comes to woodworking, I know just enough to get into trouble. Still, it's something I want to do more of, so when Johnny from Crafted Workshop contacted me to collaborate, I was all for it. And then what's this big crank over here? So this is a leg vise, which needs to be, uh, basically, needs to be smoothed out with some paste wax, but... Wait, no way, is the... Oh yeah, that big ass... That's made of wood? Yeah. He's a mountain biker too, and actually made a pretty cool bike rack on his channel. He builds seats, tables, and even equipment for his shop. Johnny's builds are contemporary and aesthetically stunning, but above all, they're functional. Today, I hope to corrupt him. So we're talking, so for the transition, 18 inches long. My idea was to build a kicker ramp out of a solid block of wood, sort of like a butcher's block or wood cutting board. Johnny didn't flinch. All he'd need from me was some consulting on the transition. Yeah, this would be a little steep. Okay. I think we should stay on the safe side and do four, okay. because that's a decent bump jump right there. Cool. The transition will be 18 inches long and four inches high, more than enough to prove the concept without going through all of Johnny's lumber. Wood. What kind of wood is this? So this is hard maple. Um, so this is a really traditional choice for a cutting board, super, super strong and not terribly expensive, although, I am going to do something a little special here, I think. This piece of purple heart. Which, Ooh. this is naturally purple. This so just to th sprinkle some color into yeah, it. Yeah, so I'm thinking like this be like the center stripe. Yes. And then have maple on either side, then walnut, and then maple, then walnut, and have this really cool kind of stripe. That would be dope. Out. Experienced woodworkers spend a lot less on lumber than you and I would. With machines like jointers, planers, and table saws, you can take coarse scrap wood from Craigslist and make it look like furniture. Before Johnny actually cuts the shape of a ramp, he first needs to make one huge block of wood out of all these planks. Step one is to cut them all roughly to size. Jointer takes out bows and bumps to make the wood perfectly flat on one side. To make both sides of the planks flat with each other, Johnny places them flat side down on the surface of this planer. The planer takes a thin layer of wood off the top surface to make the two faces totally parallel. Of course, we want the planks to be the same width as well. So as a final step, Johnny rips them all through his table saw to get them slightly wider than 4 inches we'll still be removing another thin layer of material once the block is built. Used properly, wood glue is insanely strong. Because these planks are so square and precise, they fit together like two sheets of glass. Only seconds after gluing two planks together, they're almost impossible to slide against each other. Once clamped and cured, you'd have an easier time separating the grain of the wood itself than you would two planks. Now we kill some time while the glue dries. Just like he did with the individual planks, Johnny is cleaning up this massive block of wood. At this point, it's only a few steps away from being a sweet butcher's block but we're only getting started. It would be, be just sick to own a block of wood like that. I know, I'm like, I was like, man, let's just- Just a big badass, <laughs> the baddest ass cutting board ever. Yeah. Oh, that's how I do it. I do it with like a metal ruler. Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah, that's- Darken that line up a little bit. To cut this transition, Johnny will push his bandsaw to its absolute limit. This was one limiting factor for the size of this ramp, as the blade must pass all the way through it. Oh, ho, ho. Beyond! 
beautiful. <laughs> By cutting this transition, we're actually left with two pieces of wood. We decided to make the scrap piece a lander. Why not? To protect the wood and bring out the grain, Johnny is first coating the ramp in mineral oil. For an added layer of protection and sheen, he's applying butcher's block conditioner, which has wax in it. While the stuff dries, we'll start preparing to show this ramp to the world. So the most important part of any video is a thumbnail. So we've got supplies. We are doing this right. I'm not sure why this looks so appropriate paired with a ribeye. Call it the cutting board kicker, the butcher's block booter, whatever. This piece represents woodworking, BMX, and deliciousness. Oh, this is really good. Now to really put this kicker to the test. Not only does this kicker ramp work, it's likely the nicest looking one ever made. It's solid too. The cutting board kicker is easily the goofiest thing Johnny has ever built, but it still serves as an excellent tutorial for a variety of woodworking techniques. If you love woodworking or just find watching it to be oddly satisfying, subscribe to Crafted Workshop for a new build every Tuesday. You can see Johnny's video on the cutting board kicker in the link below. What do you guys think? Should we eat off this ramp again now that I've ridden it? How would you like to see more collaborations with Crafted Workshop? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.